back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my must-have pregnancy essentials. I don't have that many because, like I said before, my pregnancy has been pretty easy. So for my first must-have pregnancy essential, it is going to be, of course, prenatal vitamins. Um, I use the Jamieson prenatal chewable vitamins. They have worked great. I've had no stomach issues. Um, it does say that it is gentle on your stomach, but yeah, I've had no issues with these. They are chewable, which sometimes sucks because you just don't really want to chew them whenever you take them because you just feel sick or something, but they have worked wonders for me. Um, like I said, no nausea, no feeling sick after I eat them. Um, they are cranberry apple flavor, so it's not that bad, and they come in a pack of 60. Um, they actually are a fairly decent price as well. They're probably around $20, I think. That's what I got them for, and I usually get them at Walmart or Superstore, or if you're in the States, you could probably get them at Walgreens or something like that. So yeah, they're definitely like a budgetable prenatal vitamin and they also don't taste that bad so I highly recommend these if you don't mind chewing on a chewable prenatal vitamin I guess. So for my second pregnancy must have essential it is actually going to be decaf coffee. Um, decaf coffee has been my life savior because you do have to watch your caffeine intake when you're pregnant. I think it's like only 200 um, 200 milligrams of like caffeine or something. So drinking decaf coffee has worked for me. I think it only has like five milligrams of caffeine in like a cup or something. So that's pretty good. I usually have this like not every day, um, just like every second day or whenever I really want it. But yeah, I am a coffee person. And decaf coffee has been my lifesaver throughout pregnancy as well as some teas. I'm not really a tea drinker, so it doesn't really matter, but I much prefer coffee. So I think decaf coffee was definitely a pregnancy must-have because when I woke up, I was just like, I need coffee. Or when I'm stressed, I was just like, I need coffee or something. So I drank decaf coffee. So for my third pregnancy must-have essential, it is actually just going to be a pair of leggings, like any pair of leggings. These are the Lululemon leggings. I'm not sure what kind they are, but any leggings work, of course. Leggings have been also my lifesaver throughout my pregnancy because as you're growing, you don't really want to go buy maternity clothes. Like I didn't buy much maternity clothes. I just wore like leggings because they stretch of course and they feel snug around your belly which is kind of nice and they fit you like no matter what like however big your belly is usually whenever I just like go out anywhere it's mainly in leggings now that it's coming to summertime I don't know what I'm going to do probably just some loose like sh track shorts or something but yeah leggings have been definitely an essential in my pregnancy if you guys do not have leggings throughout your pregnancy, I suggest definitely getting a pair because they are just super comfy and they are awesome and they stretch around your belly, which I really love. So for my next pregnancy, must have essential. It's actually kind of funny, but it's just a normal big fluffy pillow. This is also, like I said, I'm probably going to be saying that a lot throughout this video, but this has been a lifesaver in my pregnancy. Um, if you are kind of on a budget, like I am, I don't really like to spend much money. I never bought the pregnancy pillow like some women say. I've heard like a lot of good things about them and a lot of bad things about them. So I decided just not to purchase one. What I use this for is, like I said, I do have some pretty bad round ligament pain and pain in my hips just from them widening throughout my pregnancy. So what I do is when I go to sleep, I put this between my legs and have it it makes me sleep like a baby honestly when i wake up i am not in pain my hips don't hurt um i actually sleep throughout the night and i don't have to wake up unless i have to go to the bathroom which that happens a lot now currently now that i'm 30 weeks pregnant but a big fluffy pillow has been awesome 
I'm sure everyone has one. If you are pregnant and you have some round ligament pain, or if you're going to be pregnant, I definitely suggest trying just a big fluffy pillow between your legs or something to help your round ligament pain instead of buying a pregnancy pillow because I believe these do just as much support as the pregnancy pillow and I don't even know how much they are but I know it's kind of like pricey just for a pillow that you use when you're pregnant. But yeah, other than that, this has been a really good essential to me throughout my pregnancy. So for my fifth pregnancy must have essential, it is going to be stretch mark cream. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's just the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Massage Cream for stretch marks. This stuff has worked wonders for my stretch marks. I haven't had any issues. Um, my skin is super sensitive to some creams, but my skin has not been irritated by this, which has been pretty good. Um, I usually get like bad rashes if my skin doesn't like something. So yeah, if you have sensitive skin, I definitely suggest trying this um, cream. And it's honestly not that expensive. I think it's like six bucks. And I got it at Walmart. I'm sure it's everywhere in like just general stores or something. So yeah, it's not pricey and it has worked great for me. I honestly, I put it on day and night and it is so mo moisturizing. Like when I go in the shower, I still feel it on my belly or wherever I put it because it is just that moisturizing, which I really like and it is definitely worth the $6, even though it seems like a pretty small tube, but it actually lasts me a long time. Surprisingly, I've only had to get one other bottle and my pregnancy is almost over. <laughs> so yeah, this stuff has worked great for me. Like I was saying, I don't have much stretch marks. I do have some like faint white line stretch marks on my hips and stuff just from my skin stretching. But other than that, I put this on day and night and it keeps it moisturized and it is amazing. So I definitely recommend trying this if you want. And if you have sensitive skin like me, this stuff has not bothered my skin. Hopefully it does not bother yours as well. I will leave the link in the description below of this item as well. So for my sixth pregnancy must have essential, I don't have any right now because I am currently washing some of my clothes. Um, but it's just like loose clothing. Loose clothing has been a must have in my pregnancy. I honestly just wear my boyfriend's t-shirts all day because they're just so loose and comfy and they're not like skin tight on your stomach because I'm not a fan of that. I'm, I just like loose clothes and feeling comfy and it's like super airy because when you're pregnant you get really hot. I mean, I get really hot like throughout the day and it's not even that hot. But yeah, loose clothing has been awesome. Even if you just go to the store and buy some shirt that's like huge on you or just wear your boyfriend or husband's t-shirts like I do because it's just that easy. So yeah, they're super comfy and I definitely love wearing them. I wish I could just wear them in these videos. I don't know why, but why I don't, but. So for my sixth pregnancy must have essential, it is actually just going to be a humidifier. I didn't bring mine out because it's fairly big actually to put in the camera. So, and I know you can get like little ones from Walmart or something. Mine is just from Walmart, but it was like, it's a pretty big, like medium sized one. Honestly, the humidifier has worked wonders for me as well for when I'm sleeping. And throughout your pregnancy, you tend to get like sick more often just because your body is just working for the baby and your immune system gets pretty low. So when you have a bad cold or something, the humidifier has worked awesome for me to be able to sleep throughout the night because when you're pregnant you can't take certain like cold medicines or liquid medicines to help you go to sleep. So the humidifier just like adds humidity to the air of course and makes me sleep like a baby. It clears my nose when I have a cold or something throughout my pregnancy. Um, I did have a pretty bad cold in the beginning and it worked great for me. I would definitely recommend getting a humidifier if you're pregnant because it helps so much throughout your sleep or if you have a cold and you can't take the medicine, which is kind of a pain, but humidifier has worked awesome for me. I definitely recommend you guys trying it if you have a cold when you're pregnant or something, if you need help sleeping. And if the humidifier works for you, let me know in the comments below because that would be awesome. That is what I want to do. I want to help other women and give you tips of your pregnancy. 
My humidifier wasn't too expensive. Like I said, I just got it at Walmart. It isn't like that big, but it works fully throughout the night until I have to fill it again. So I'll have to fill it the next day, which isn't really an issue, obviously. I will try to leave a link below of the humidifier I have, but any other humidifier just works, will work as great. It doesn't matter which one you have. So yeah, let me know if humidifier works throughout your pregnancy and if you have a cold. So for my seventh must-have pregnancy essential, it is actually going to be just the Brita filter water jumps. I don't have mine to show right now because it's in the fridge, of course, full of water. <laughs> I love the Brita filter, the water jugs, because they make my water honestly taste so good. And when you're pregnant, that's like all you crave. Well, that's all I've been craving is just water when I'm thirsty and I tend to drink so much. It saves the budget of buying water bottles because if you're a picky water drinker like I am, I hate the taste of metallic -y water, if you know what I mean. The Brita works awesome. It makes your water taste so good and if you leave it in the fridge, it turns cold and it just, I can't even explain. It tastes so good. I'm sure if you're like a lover of water like I am, you would know what I mean when the water just tastes so good and it's cold. The Brita filter also isn't like that expensive. I think it, I got mine for like $30 at Superstore or you can get it at Walmart or anywhere like that. So yeah, definitely not that expensive, which I really liked and it saves so much money other than buying water bottles for yourself because a case of waters adds up. Like throughout my pregnancy, I've been drinking cases and cases of water and finally decided to buy the Brita filter water jug. I don't even know the name of it, but it is the brand Brita, so. I also discovered at the store when I was there last week that they now have a Brita water bottle with the filter in it. I need to get myself one of those because I could just fill it up with my Brita or I can even like use not good water <laughs> from like a gas station or something and it would still taste good. I'm not sure if those are like new or anything, but I just seen it in the store, so I'm going to say it's new to me. But if you guys have one of those, let me know how they work because I'm seriously considering buying one and I like to know reviews before I buy stuff because like I said, I like to save money. So so yeah, let me know in the comments below if you bought one of the Brita water bottles with the filter in it because I like to hear about things before I buy them, as well as anything in this video, like what did you use throughout your pregnancy? Let me know in the comments below. So for my last pregnancy must have essential, it is actually just going to be a plain plug-in fan. Uh, if you're like me throughout your pregnancy, you just like overheat randomly, you just get hot at like anything you do, like when I'm sleeping. I wake up and I'm sweating for some reason and I don't know why but the fan just like cools you off and it helps you sleep so much better when you're hot throughout the night. I found I love my fan honestly when I'm sleeping. I will never want to sleep without one now. So if you get like hot when you're pregnant or when you're sleeping or something, definitely try a plug-in fan because it is awesome. I can't even explain it. I'm sure. I know there's a lot of people that love sleeping with fans and it's like so relaxing and calming and I never am going to sleep without one again. So that is actually going to conclude my pregnancy must have essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys had any favorite pregnancy essentials that you loved or used every day throughout your pregnancy, let me know in the comments below because I love to try new things and I would love to review them, just helping other girls out. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I plan to do so much more pregnancy updates as well as if you guys have any video ideas for me, let me know and I will for sure be down to do more videos that you guys want to see. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Tell me why I can't get no real